I'm back now with Kipling Johnson and his wife Robin here to tell their inspirational story of his battle with ALS. Kip yes. and Robin, thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having us. Yeah, we're glad you're along with us today. Uh, I think folks in, in this day and age have heard of ALS probably. Uh, just tell us a little bit about uh, Kip's journey. Okay. Uh, um, ALS is amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. Um, and it is a terminal illness. Lou Gehrig's disease is what right, most right. people know yeah, it as. Yes, right. terminal illness, and he was diagnosed in 2012. And um, it took a while for us to grasp that, oh, you know, how the severity of mm -hmm. a terminal illness. Um, and it's got a three to five year life expectancy. And I'm thankful to say Kip will hit six years this summer. Oh, that is awesome. So that's a total of blessing for us, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Well, uh, but he said, hang on. This right. is not going to define me. Exactly. What did, he, what did he do? I think his goal, once he um, kind of took in that he had a terminal illness, was that, tell me if I'm wrong now, <laughs> was that um, he wanted to show other people that a terminal illness is not a death sentence. You mm -hmm. can still live and enjoy life. And right. that's what he's done through this book. He's written this book all with his eyes. Um, he is completely paralyzed, has a feeding tube, a trach, he can't speak, um, but he communicates on a special computer. Yeah. Yeah. It, and, and what a technology that oh, is. It's such a blessing. Tell folks oh how gosh. that works. Okay. He has a special computer. Um, it's eye gaze technology and it calibrates with his eyes. Mm -hmm. And so his he pulls up a um, keyboard on his screen yeah. and he just types one letter at a time, just like you and I type. Yes. He's shopping on Amazon or he's sure. on Facebook. He's very busy. Yeah. He's very busy. But yeah, he typed the book, designed the cover, edited and published it all by himself. Wow. All with his eyes. H how, uh, now how does that, uh, what, or what's the book, kind of the theme of the book? The theme, okay. It's his journey with ALS. Yeah. And then it's also really focused on his, um, I guess, decision to get a trach, to choose to extend his life yeah. and extend the quality of his life by getting trached. Okay, and not everyone does that. Not everyone does that. It's kind of, right. un not unknown, but not that many people choose to get a right. trach. And Kip decided he wanted to continue life. He wasn't done. Yeah. So he did, and he's lived well. We do all kinds of things. Yeah. <laughs> We're very busy. So yeah. Make, making every minute count. What a Absolutely. lesson for everybody. Well. And, you know, the book brings a lot of education to those who don't understand, mm -hmm. right. but also a lot of inspiration and hope for anybody, not just ALS people or people touched by ALS, but also chronic illness or anybody just needs some inspiration, hope, good story. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm sure the, the folks that whose lives are touched by it, though, are going to find this particularly uh, kind of hitting home. I really hope so. I really hope so. Yeah. I hope it really gives them encouragement to keep going and don't give up. And yeah. Keep living. Yeah, keep living. Keep living. Oh, that's a great word mm -hmm. right there. All right, tell us about the event then that's coming up. It's not very long from now. Yes, this Saturday we are having a book, a book signing uh, fundraising party for Kip. Mm -hmm. um, and it's going to be at Levada's, which is downtown, or downtown North Little Rock, really, um, on Main Street. Yeah. And they're going to have lots of vendors have provided food and drinks, and we got a great silent auction with lots of good stuff. And oh, well, fine. Get a chance to meet Kip and see his communication device that he uses. Exactly, exactly. We, yeah. we were going to have it today, but it, it covers his face. It and covers we his whole yeah, face, right. yeah. Yeah, all right. Well, uh, uh, if, as just a drop-in event, you can just kind of come and go as you please. drop in 5 to 8 on Saturday night. Okay. And tickets you can get at the door or get them in advance. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, and you said you wanted to say thanks also to, uh, yes. to a couple of folks, too. Thank you uh, to Kay down at Levada's and Dr. Joe Buford for putting this whole event on for us. We're very excited about it. Looking forward to it. Inspirational story. Yes. Very good. You see the uh, information there. Uh, and we just want to say all the best to you, Thank you and very to Kip. Much. Thank you. Kip, thanks for writing the book, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>